well, all my friends from school, like I went to a Catholic all girls school, so we're all still friends, and they knew I wanted to be an actress when I was in school, and so they're all like, you know, no, it's been I've been working for it for such a long time, so they're all thrilled for me, and then. Um, my family and all are, are, of course, they're thrilled, yeah. Um, but like they've known I've been an actress for a really long time. I suppose they're just thrilled that it's finally, I've finally gotten something that I've always wanted. I was in Los Angeles and I was with Colin and his family and we all watched it together at like what, 5.30 a.m., yeah. Yeah, luckily I, my one came up first, my nomination, or the category. Um, so I didn't have to be sitting there jittery for long, but Colin had to wait for ages, I felt sorry for him. But we cheered for every Irish nomination, it was great, yeah. I've always loved watching the Oscars. My mother used to tape it, and we'd watch it the next day because of the time difference, you know. Um, and it was such a big deal in our house, you know, and then the fashion of it all, and, and then the dance numbers. I remember the little Mer the year The Little Mermaid really wowed me as a child with all the dancing, and, um, and Americans are just really good at putting on, like, a show. I feel like there's just so much talent and money, and, you know, they're, they're just really good at a spectacle. Why wouldn't he answer the door to me? Maybe he just doesn't like you no more. Oh, it was so nice to go home and um, and everyone on the crew was very grateful. It was a very, very small crew, but very grateful to be, because they kind of knew it was a special um, to get on the job. Because of Martin's, you know, success rating and his career and the script itself. So everyone was very grateful and so the vibe was very positive. And for me, just to, to get to do a film of Martin's, I'd only done, well, I'd done Three Billboards, a small part, but I'd done mostly his plays. And so I was really excited to get, um, to get to be in one of his films in a big part. Well, it helped that I knew Colin from a, when I was a teenager. And so like there was a sort of an ease from when, you know, I met him that wouldn't have been there maybe, you know, if I hadn't known him, it would have taken me a little bit of time to get to know him. And I suppose what I liked, you know, one of the things was that he was just set the tone of the movie. He's very kind and he was very generous to the crew. We always had like something on a Friday. Every Friday he'd like gift the crew with something like a, a coffee truck or like a crepe truck or something. So Colin was very loved on the set for the Friday gifts. And then working with Brendan, I really liked those scenes that I had with Brendan because I felt like his character sort of knew, was the only one who kind of knew that Siobhan was, ha, had experienced depression and knew Siobhan had a tendency to get very down. And, and he hinted at that when he spoke to her. And so I felt like very vulnerable in those moments in those scenes with Brendan and very safe. Um, to, to be standing beside someone who's saying like, I know you do think those really dark thoughts and I think them too. And there was just a very, it was just a very vulnerable place to be. And he was just very, you know, it was just a kind person to be in that, those places with. You can't just all of a sudden stop being friends with a fella. Why can't I? Why can't you? Because it isn't nice. I really think people should be aware of the fact that like you can really hurt somebody with your, um, with with the way you behave around them and, and the way the selfish ways that you end a relationship or the selfish ways that you talk to people like especially nowadays the way people just like ghost people and all it's like you, you know you can really change somebody's character uh, permanently by the way that you hurt them and i think i would like to think that people would perhaps consider like how they treat other people because Porig was, you know, a totally different man by the end of the movie and, and like that happens, you know, and that you can really f somebody up, basically. Mm -hmm.